what is going on friends welcome back to the channel appreciate you guys stopping by i had something really unfortunate happen to the h2 the other day i picked up a nail what happened was i was out enjoying the day get some tacos and sometime on my ride home i pick up a nail a little guy and as you can see from the footage that should be playing right now uh, it's in a really weird spot like a quarter inch or so from the from the wall on the front tire that makes it a little sketchy to plug right now uh, i do have it plugged and i'm on my way to get a set of new tires some people might say well kenny why don't you just leave it plugged your plugs are awesome you know i won't disagree but a bike cup it sure is even if i could plug it i don't know if i'd really want to i feel safer just just replacing the tire come on come on come on come on Thanks, lady. I think that was a lady. And instead of just replacing the front tire, I am going to replace both tires. Even though, as you can see again from this footage, I've still got a lot of life left on these RS11s. I figured I'd get maybe 2,000 miles out of them, and I'm right now I'm just over 1,000. So I've got a good bit of life left. And I also haven't really reached the side yet. I'm I have a problem with Bridgestone tires. I do not like them at all. So the combination of having a bike that I'm still trying to get used to and having tires that I'm not extremely confident in kind of has me hesitant to push farther. So instead of replacing the front and having the rear wear out and then having to purchase another you know, RS11 rear so that the tires you know, wear at the same pace, I want to just get rid of it. Say, fuck it, get rid of these tires and get a set of tires that I know I'm going to love. Now, you might also be wondering, your video says you're going to the dyno, and that is true. Yes, I am going to dyno this bike right now. Right now. Since I, I've got a lot of life left on this rear tire, I figure why not use it somehow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hope that plug didn't come out. The front feels a little, a little weird. I gotta find a spot to pull over and check this plug. Oh man, I'm scared. I don't know if it's the lines in the road or the plug coming out of the tire. Shit. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, nope, plug is still there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. All right, cool, plug is still there. That makes me happy. Just gotta get back into traffic now. Come on. Dinos tend to chew up quite a bit of tire and the place that I'm actually going to now will let you use a dummy tire uh, while they do their, their tuning for your bike. It'll cost you a couple bucks, but since, you know, I got this tire and I'm going to be throwing it away anyway, I might as well use it up. So that's why I decided to go and get the dyno wing done right now. So after that's complete, then I'll be heading over to 8-Ball Tire over here in San Diego to get a set of new Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3s. So the goal right now is to just make it to Lee Cycle on the north side of the city without having this plug come out. Please, baby Jesus, do not let this plug come out. This ought to be a lot of fun. I am really curious to see what kind of power this bike is going to put out. Now, I'm not expecting the world here. Uh, right now, the only modifications I have are an MWR air filter and the full Van Diemen exhaust. And the ECU has been flashed but just a basic flash that kind of de-restricts everything. Nothing else uh, as far as engine parameters have been changed. So I'm guessing somewhere in the 205 to 215 range. That's really what I'm thinking. Uh, anywhere in that range, I'd be super happy. And at least give me a, a baseline idea of, of what's going on with this bike. When I had the R1 tuned by this place, I ended up getting somewhere in the low 190s, which I feel like is really good. You know, I don't need my bike to be the fastest. I just want it to be comfortable and fun to ride. There it is, Lee's Cycle. This place is awesome.
about this dyno run. 205 horsepower. That's not bad. In fact, I'm, I'm not totally upset with that at all. You know, everybody wants to see a higher number. Yeah, of course, you know, but yeah, that's right about where I expected to be. I know the advertised horsepower is somewhere near 230, but that's not what's getting to the wheel. So having 205 uh, with the Van Diemen and the air filter, I feel like it's pretty respectable. 205 horsepower on anything is respectable. So I'm, I'm happy with that, no complaints. And I know that if I do any more work in the future, that number's only gonna go up. So time will tell. I know I say that I don't want a bunch of horsepower, but I am a very spontaneous person. You guys might check back next week and I'm pushing 270, so <laughs> you never know. Uh, I don't think I'll do that, but you never know what I might do. So I've had a pretty productive afternoon. Fixed the flat, got the bike dynoed, and got new tires. Not bad, not bad. Well, that's all I've got for today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments below. I really appreciate it. And until next time, be safe out there.